Whether you believe it's fair or not, I think it's safe to say that the plane is a hit, and we should all be thanking Damian Lillard for being somewhat of a catalyst for why it even exists in the first place. And I say somewhat because technically the NBA had already considered implementing a play-in type tournament all the way back in 2018. And of course, it was met with some mixed reactions. Max Kellerman saw the value in it. ESPN Zach Lowe is reporting that the idea of an NBA play-in tournament for the last two seeds in each conference's playoff picture has gained momentum. Max Kellerman, I don't know how I feel about all this, but the question is, do you like it? Yeah, I do like it. I, I kind of really like it, to yeah. tell you the truth. But Stephen A. Smith, not so much. Suddenly, if you have an opportunity to get into the playoffs as a seventh or an eighth seed, you want to actually go through some mini tournament in order to get in when we've already made the case that being mediocre ain't good enough? Oh, stop it, please. This is a bogus idea. Get rid of it. That's all I have to say. Rudy Gobert said, Would I like to be in that tournament? If you're the 10th seed, then yeah. But if you finish 7th after battling all year, it's kind of tough if you're 7th and you can lose your spot to the 10th. But the person everybody wanted to hear from the most was LeBron, and he didn't hold back one bit. That's whack. Okay. That's whack. Yeah, that's whack. Why? You gotta earn your spot to be in the postseason. No consolation for finishing last or anything. That's, that's corny. Even if my record is better than yours? Yeah. Nah, that's why. The overall goal was to make it less appealing for teams to tank, and to make the last part of the regular season more exciting. Kinda like how that 2018 regular season ended up being exciting towards the end, and I mean the very end. After 81 games were played, you might remember that the 8th seed in the Western Conference was still undecided. The Denver Nuggets and the Minnesota Timberwolves were tied in the standings, and it just so happened that the Nuggets and T-Wolves were scheduled to play each other in the final game of that regular season. It couldn't have worked out any better for us fans, it was like we were getting a game seven to end the season. The winner would earn the final spot in the playoffs while the loser would be sent home for the year. There was so much excitement surrounding around that final winner go home game, similar to the excitement we see in the NCAA tournament. If only the NBA regular season could end like that every year. Obviously, a play-in tournament isn't exactly like March Madness, but it's pretty damn close, as the stakes are also high. But at the time, back in 2018, it was said that a play-in tournament was nowhere near to actually being implemented, if at all. Fast forward to 2020, NBA commissioner Adam Silver had no other choice but to shut down the season after Rudy Gobert tested positive for COVID-19. The NBA knew that if they ever wanted to resume the season, they had to get creative, so they looked to Disney World, where they ultimately came up with the NBA bubble. And just like that, they had a unique opportunity to finally implement what they had already discussed years earlier. And along with Damian Lillard putting pressure on the league came the first iteration of the NBA play-in tournament. The reason I bring up Lillard is because he said that he wouldn't play in the bubble if his Blazers had no chance to make the playoffs. The Blazers were three and a half games behind the Memphis Grizzlies for the final playoff spot in the Western Conference when the NBA season was suspended because of the pandemic. Quote, if we come back and they're just like, we're adding a few games to finish the regular season and they're throwing us out there for meaningless games and we don't have a true opportunity to get into the playoffs, I'm going to be with my team because I'm a part of the team, but I'm not going to be participating. I'm telling you that right now. Jalen, what did you think of what Damian Lillard said? I'm not surprised at all, Greeny. This is a professional who understands that this is my job, and therefore, if I have an opportunity to further our goals, then I'm all in. But for me to fly all the way from Portland to Florida, it has to be a reason for me to go out there on the court and risk my health, physically playing basketball, but also clearly during the coronavirus pandemic that we're dealing with. But not everyone agreed with Dame's point of view. Dan Orlovsky thought that Dame was kind of acting like a spoiled little brat. I struggle with sitting there going, how can you sit there and go, nope, I'm not going to play, but understand that there's people out there that don't have that choice, that they have to go to work and they have to go earn their money. I struggle with sitting here and going, you don't come off as a, as a, uh, in some way, an, an spoiled and entitled brat by saying, I'm not going to play. And as expected, Dame fired back as he took exception to Dan's comments. Now, since Dame was the one who spoke up and voiced his opinion, Jalen and Jacoby asked him how he would go about the whole thing if the NBA was to return. If you could sort of design how this season should be restructured, how would you restructure the rest of the season in the bubble? Mm -hmm. If I could, I would, you know, design some type of play-in tournament between between all the teams. 
um, that were in striking distance, you know, with enough games left in the season uh, to catch Memphis. So I feel like a play-in tournament would, um, would be perfect um, just because we actually were in striking distance and also had enough games to to get in the playoffs. He went on to say that if they decided that they were just going to go straight to the playoffs once they return in the bubble, that he would understand because at the end of the day, Portland didn't perform to be in that top eight up until that point. But if they were going to show up just to be scrimmages for the higher seeds, he didn't think it was worth it. When the NBA season was suspended, LeBron appeared to have actually changed his mind about the league having a play-in scenario. You, you, you can't just go like one thing you can't just do, just go straight to the playoffs because it just oh. credits... It discredits the 60 plus games that guys had, you know, fighting for that position. So it was crazy, RJ. So, so we got Portland, you got Memphis, you got New Orleans that's kind of, you know, Sacramento. you know, in Sacramento tinking around there. So, you know, I mean, if there's five or 10 games left, why not the five, why not those guys battle it out? There could be a best out of a three team. Uh, plan. As we all know, Lillard ultimately got his wish, a chance to make the playoffs. Portland did what they needed to do in the bubble. The Blazers got hot while the Grizzlies did not, with Portland eventually taking over the eighth seed in the process. But since Memphis was still within four games of them, a play-in tournament was still required. But only between them. You guys probably forgot that the first year of the play-in featured just one game, because there was no need for a play-in in the Eastern Conference, as the ninth place Wizards did not finish within four games of the eighth place magic. The play-in in the Western Conference was only between the 8th and 9th seeds, meaning that the 8th seed only needed to win once, while the 9th seed needed to win twice in order to advance to the playoffs. And since Portland won the first game, a second game was not needed. Fast forward to 2021, this is where the format would change, where teams that finished 7 through 10 in each conference qualified for the play-in, a change that LeBron was not a fan of initially. He supported the idea of a play-in tournament in the bubble, but changed his tune once he realized that he was in danger of having to participate in the play-in in 2021. You know, if this happens to, uh, we end up at six or fifth or, or, or whatever the case may be, or if we end up in the, you know, the playoff, uh, whatever that thing is, wh whoever came up with that sh uh, need to be fired, um, but whatever. Although he wasn't too happy about it, his team ended up surviving the play-in that year. Remember, we've actually seen play-in teams go pretty far after surviving the tournament, with last year being proof of that, as the Lakers managed to make it to the Western Conference Finals, while the Miami Heat managed to shock everyone by making it all the way to the NBA Finals, after they were almost eliminated in the play-in not too long before. So there you have it, if Damian Lillard wasn't so adamant about needing something to play for in the bubble, we might not have ever had a play-in tournament to look forward to every year, or at least might not have gotten it as early as we did.